Thank you for joining us here at noon. I'm Jackie Pascal. In just hours, the body of Greensboro Police Sergeant Philip Dale Nix will be escorted back to the triad for the final time. We have live team coverage as the community begins to say goodbye to that fallen officer, Marie DeBone, you see there outside of GPD headquarters. We begin, though, with Joshua Davis on Gate City Boulevard with more on the procession that is getting underway soon. Joshua. Jackie, the procession will start in Raleigh in just under an hour, making its way along parts of I-40 before finally ending here in Guilford County. Various federal, state, and local agencies will escort Sergeant Philip Dale Nix. Crews will also be staged on overpasses throughout the route. It reflects the outpouring of support we've seen from law enforcement agencies across the triad and state for Greensboro police and his family. Nick served the city of Greensboro for 23 years and in various roles with GPD, including as a detective, patrol sergeant, supervisor of the Family Victims Unit, and as a leader for the peer support team. In the aftermath of his passing on Saturday, the community has come together to mourn and to show support. For that, we go to reporter Maria Bone, who is live outside police headquarters. Maria. Yeah, Joshua, well, well, tonight at five, the city's Office of Community Safety is holding a community event at the Phil McDonald Plaza in support of the Greensboro Police Department. And so many people have been showing their support for the department since Saturday, bringing flowers to this memorial held in front of GPD's headquarters. Now, as you can see, flowers, cards and banners have been placed across his patrol car. The items are from former co-workers, city leaders, friends and family, even from those in the community who didn't even know him. My husband's retired from Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department uh, with 33 years service, and I know how it feels to wait, worried about getting that call. He is a police officer through and through. He saw a crime being committed. And the memorial isn't the only tribute for Sergeant Nix. A fundraiser has also been set up by the Greensboro Police Officers Association. 100% of the proceeds will go to Nix's family. And so far, the fundraiser has raised more than $52,000. And you can find a link to that um, fundraiser with more information right now on our website. For now, live in Greensboro, Maria DeBone, WXII 12 News. Maria, Joshua, both reporting live in Greensboro this afternoon. Thank you for those reports. The three suspects.